Hey everyone, Jamie Pate here, and I was literally jumping in here to this, uh, pay, uh, what is a story seven every year I try and add in a right now kind of a page, um, with my kids. Now here is that photo booth photo strip again, and this is from Lilypad. It is by Paisley press. If you don't follow them, go check them out. Um, very minimalist digital, um, kits and whatnot. I use their things pretty often, actually. Um, great designs. So this is actually called, if I'm recollecting, if I'm recollecting, if I am recalling correctly, photo booth love. And I just, this is the five by seven strip. Anyway, that's what it's called in the template. And I super love this for being able to tell like an encapsulated, like what I mean by that is like lots of photos, mostly people in one story. You saw me use this early on in my December album, and it was just a great way to tell this story. And so I have brought it back. Okay. And so I thought I was just going to bang out this page because there's a lot of stories I want to tell. I'm just kind of eager just to get them told. You can relate to that emotion, right? So what I'm doing, this one's going to be outside the page. I've already trimmed out a piece of cardstock. It's a, it's going to be a little bit shorter than some, or not as wide as some of my other pages. And that's because I'm pretty sure I'll show you what I mean. When this actually gets in the, in the album, it's going to be outside the page. So I'll be actually adding my um, holes right here. And it's going to probably come in like this. And that's going to allow some of these other pages to kind of show. So it's going to allow for some layers. Okay. The other thing is, um, because this is a right now kind of page, I want to basically bullet point where each one of my kids are right now in their lives. And so I started by grabbing the Vicki Booten Warm Wishes, this paper pad. I've been using this almost on every story so far, almost. Almost, not quite. Maybe not the last two. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Anyway, um, so I love this print. It's so pretty. So it's a, I'm making a little bit of a shift here because I've been very heavy on reds and greens. And um, I just love, I've, I've been super inspired by this pattern ever since I saw it, like in November or whenever I grabbed this paper pad. I have, I decided as I was getting ready to do this, I'm like, you know, I, I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but I think I'm going to go ahead and record it and share with my friends how this page comes together. We'll see how that goes. So, so far what I've done, I've told you I have my, my background paper and then I have cut this out the same dimensions. I've got a little piece cut off there. Don't worry about that because that's not going to be there. I went ahead and scored and folded this just about, I don't know, not quite a half an inch. I decided I want this to wrap around this side of the page. The idea is that this is going to come in here about like at this angle. Once I figure out what this is going to be, I want to trim out the rest of it. So the page is going to kind of open on a an angle. Are you following that? Okay, let's see how it goes. I might have to voice over some of this because it can be kind of hard and I don't want to take I don't want to make this a 15 minute video. So it can be kind of hard to be showing this to you and talking through at the same time. I mean, I'm great at multitasking, but you know, there are limits to what I, my superpowers. So what I think I'm going to do is go at this angle. I just love this so much. <laughs> I'm super distracted today, but it's just, I mean, it's kind of an epic Christmas with two kids married. Um, there'll be nine of me of us in our family now. We have a friend who stays every year for Christmas. So that's 10 of us for Christmas. So I'm a little giddy. I'm super not ready. And I'm kind of embracing all that. That's not like me. The perfectionist in me says you have to be ready for all the things. And I'm not. And I'm so going to be okay with that this year. Because I've just learned, if I've learned anything, being a mom of a million children, um, I, I wished I'd learned this earlier. And I'm trying to think right now as I do this, do I actually want this to fold or do I want to cut it off? It's safe to just go ahead and do the fold right now, right? I know this is how my brain is working right now. My daughter asked me this morning, how many cups of coffee have you had? I've only had two people. That's like, I'm trying to actually cut back a little bit. I've noticed that it's just been a little too much. So I'm like, I'm only at two cups of coffee. That's all I've had. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and ooh, gently fold this on its score. And 
I think I might be making this more complicated than it is, which is which is usually the story of my life. And right now I can't find my scissors. <laughs> Has anyone seen my scissors? I remember where my scissors are. Um, and they're not up here right now. So these are some really old, pretty janky looking scissors, but we're going to use them because they're what I have. And here's, that's, that's like another lesson for us. Use what you have, guys. If you can't find the perfect scissors, just use what's on your table. Get her done. Oh, see, that's super fun. I am loving this already. This really isn't that hard, right? So then if it, op if we open up, right? Yeah. I don't know if I want that like that. And I might not even want this actually on the angle, but I kind of like it too at the same time. And maybe this stays straight. Oh, that might look good. I'm just trying to decide too, once you get inside, am I going to have all of the journaling hidden here? And I actually probably really am. Okay, so I'm going to just adhere this down and be right back. Okay, here is what I have so far. I attached this from, I think, our last little bit in here. I went ahead, and I'm not sure if this is, well, I, yes, I know it's going to work. I wanted this just to have a nice finished edge, so I'm actually going to go ahead and attach this right now flat. There's really no other purpose to this little scored edge here except that I wanted just to have a little bit more weight to this page. And I thought, well, by adding a full over flap that I was going to kind of create that a little bit. And so I hope this works because it should. I went ahead, I can do this now, I suppose. I went ahead and typed up on vellum my, I just didn't spend a lot of time on each kid. It's just basically, if I remember, their age and a little short synopsis. You know, think of like a theater program bio synopsis. That's kind of about all that I include, but it's there for the storytelling when I come back in. Oh, you know what I should have done? I know. Here I go again. When I come back in and, um, you know, look at this years from now and I see, oh, 2021. Not that I'm going to forget completely, but you know, you know how our brains work. I need to find a way to adhere this in there. And I don't know, it might, it might not be dark enough. We're going to, we're going to see. I think for now, I am just going to, because I'm going to sit on this for a minute. Do you ever do that with your layouts to just kind of put a thing kind of temporary in a space and just sort of think about it for a little bit. I, I used to do that a whole lot when I was starting and you know, the whole perfectionist thing super was at play and now it's not as bad, but I think that just comes with time, but I really, I'm not sure about this. And I just love the paper underneath so much. <sighs> That's why I'm like, I'm not sure, but I want it there for now. I'm going to go ahead and close this up for a minute. Find my photo strip. I am going to now flip this over and mark on the back of the photo strip itself so I know where to add my adhesive. And I've had a couple questions about the adhesive that I'm using. I'm almost exclusively using the scrapbook.com double-sided sticky tape. Um, I still use a tape runner. I just find, especially when I have, am ready to commit, this is some of the best adhesive that I've been using lately. And I don't have to worry about it popping off my page. You can relate to that emotion, I'm sure. So I'm going to just turn this page back over. Actually, no, I'm going to go like this. And that way I know exactly where I had it. Okay, so that's in place. Something else I went ahead and knew I was going to want, kind of playing off of the pattern here, are these shape dies. I chose this. I went ahead and cut a couple of these in the green that I'm using. Wish I could tell you the color of this. I literally grabbed this at Hobby Lobby and have no idea what color it is. So I decided I am going to put this little, I think I'm gonna do that. It's a, oh, these are from, these are these nested dies. And I thought I was gonna do a whole hexagon thing here. I'm probably gonna do that on some other page. This became this, right? So I gotta kinda go with it. I have put this um, foam adhesive on the back because I wanted it popped up. And I also want it as a little way that I can flap my 
photo page into there without this just always hanging open when I'm not looking at it, right? And then these guys are gonna kind of pop in underneath here to add some embellishment. Okay, I've gone ahead and wrapped this up. Let me show you how I did that. So I already put these, almost looks like a plant. I went like a plant coming out of a planter. Didn't really quite mean for that, but I'm, I'm embracing it. What I did then was I took these paper rose dies and I die cut out this little ticket image that I do on occasion. I took brand new Tim Holtz remnant rubs and I used the right now to, cause I thought it was perfect. Cause this is my right now story. I, and I just realized as I say that I, I'm probably gonna find and put my seven right in here. I didn't add my seven yet. So I uh, stapled that on top with a little min mini stapler. And so now this serves, I, can't remember if I already said this or not. This serves as my little flap holder. And then inside is just the journaling. Um, I have room here if I want to add anything else, but I don't, I don't know. I might just move on to story eight. Um, so that's a look at story seven. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. I hope you'll try this page idea. It's super fun, super easy, very interactive. I'm going to put, put my holes in there and pop it inside of my album. And I guess I will see you. Oh, wait. One more thing, the details, that is the Vicki Booten Warm Wishes stamp set. <laughs> you got to know about the stamps, right? So that's right there. Okay, that is now <laughs> how this little story came together. So anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for putting up with all my mammarines. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.